on. I'm very excited to be here. I watch you every night. Oh, that's nice. I watched you every night before. I'll watch before I you. Before I TV show? No, in your other TV show. <laughs> OK. I just want to say I love your show. And I, on election night, um, I had my daughter and friends. And it was going to be a big high five. And then yeah. it went a different way. And you had a nervous breakdown, sort of. Yeah. Al Alcohol-fueled. Was it really? Alcohol-fueled uh, uh, existential crisis. Well, I, I, I appreciated it. Mm. There's that saying, an abnormal reaction to an abnormal situation is normal. Oh, sure. That's what I felt was happening, and it helped me. I, maybe I leased some of my breakdown out to you. I'm only a half kidding. I really appreciated no, it. No, I'm glad. That <laughs> and I continue to appreciate that you're sort of on fire, because it's the appropriate... Yeah. Reaction. Right, thank you. Well, thank you. Thanks for watching. Th th thanks for watching. Please, please, I, don't I think... please don't calm down. I won't. Okay, good. No, here's the thing is, I think we're all on fire. I'm on fire. And part of my job is to look at my arms and go, oh, yeah, flames. Right, yes. Well, yeah, I this appreciate feeling, it. This feeling is not a good one. I, I want to thank you because I got married in 1993. And the, that was, You're that, welcome. That was yes. <laughs> that was mad about you. Mad about you. That was yes. like the big breakout year. Yes. Of, and, and my wife and I, as a young married couple, like we were eating. What did you have back then? The uh, the snack wells of <laughs> fat free cookies. Remember those? <laughs> they were everywhere. We would watch. We would, we fat would <laughs> cookie fat we free. Would, we would watch Mad About You and eat our <laughs> fat free cookies. How'd and, go? and you guys on screen, you and Paul Reiser, and mm -hmm. we're like, that's us. Aww, we, we, I'm we, so we glad just to hear absolutely that. love that show. Now, another big show from the 90s, uh, Roseanne, uh, has made a comeback. What about Mad About You? I think it's, I think it's time. It would be very fun. <laughs> Paul Reiser is one of my dearest friends. We have lunch once every few months anyway. And now, you know, if we could find the right home that really wanted to do it the way we want to do it, it would be great fun. I hope it happens. I'm well, not I'm being so coy. Too. People say they're being coy. I don't know no. if anybody do wants it, it, frankly. Do it here. Do it at CBS. I, that, we I'll should talk, be I'll, so lucky. Will I'll you talk, make a call? I'll talk to some people. Thank I'll you talk very to much. some people. Then I can come back and plug <laughs> Matt about you, which would be fantastic. Would you, would you say? Why I not? could come back and promote Mad About You, which would be great. Oh, that would be wonderful. Yeah. I would love it. Maybe I could do a guest star. Yeah. Now you've said it, so now you have to do it. Oh, I would do it in a minute. Okay, good. I would do it in a minute. Can my wife come too? Yes. My wife can come too? <laughs> That's it. And then our marriage will be full circle and we can, we can start over again. Now, uh, I, there's something I just found out about you that makes you, it just endears you to me in, in ways that I didn't think were impossible to increase, is that you're a science fiction fan. Well, You're I'm like a, a Star Wars. Star Wars. A Star Wars fan. fan. And like, so here you here you are. <laughs> here you with one of your, with a blind date or something like that. I'm there you go. Briefly That's dated a stormtrooper. It, it didn't, didn't work. work out, but whatever. It's okay. How would you raise the kids? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Christmas and Hanukkah. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Yes, I'm so, a crazy. Now, you don't even understand. I wanted to get a Rebel Alliance tattoo, but my daughter said no. Why? She your said daughter, no. Why did your daughter say no? Well, first she said it looks like a leech from across the room, which I thought was just rude. And um, oh, did you draw it on first? Did you draw? No, it I first? had it henna tattooed on. Oh, oh, and you were gonna have it like make this permanent? Yeah, I wanted to, but she just said, "When I'm 18, you can do what you want." She actually <laughs> said that. <laughs> so, so your daughter is raising you well. A little bit. She's kind she's of in charge. She values. has a very level head and is usually right. So I w so I'm doing what she says. Does she have a tattoo? You don't no. have to answer that. No, no, no. no. Okay, just didn't know if it was like <laughs> what I she get did? one, but you don't. You don't get to have <laughs> that. That would be weird. Um, no, she doesn't, and I don't either because she won't let me. Okay, now are you have, uh, are you a lifelong? Like, you seem like you don't believe I'm a real fan. But I'm a super geek fan. I don't, I don't, I don't disbelieve, but I want to know when this started. Like, were you the day we're Star about the same Wars age. opened? You're a little younger than I, I was am. There, but you were the very first one. Oh, oh yeah. In, in 1977. I paid my money ten times, and then my 16th wow. birthday was waiting in line all day to see The Empire Strikes Back. Where were you when I was in high school? Where were you when I was in high school? No, because I, I went with Roy Slotchever and Haskell Feudenberg and Keith Sargent. Terrible mistake. I would love to have no, gone with you Helen have Hunt. <laughs> there were no girls. Yeah, there, there were no girls to go I, with me in the time. Well, I was there. So on my 16th birthday, we were waiting in line all day. And For some, which one? 
Empire Strikes Back, okay, sorry, and in. some jerk drove by who had just come out of the theater and yelled, Darth Vader is you know who's you know what. In case there's any young people watching. <laughs> Look, well, I don't want to ruin it. 230 years is too late. Rose I'm not going to be the one. <laughs> I'm not going to be the one to wreck it. But okay. he wrecked the whole thing. And I heard it, and my parents didn't. So I watched the whole movie, and I loved it. But I knew. What jerk is that, do you think? Wasn't me. I wonder. It wasn't me. It wasn't you. You wouldn't it wasn't have done me. it. I took a date that was one of the first girls I ever asked out was to, uh, to that. I asked Wheezy Condon out. You know Wheezy. <laughs> Hi, Wheezy. Hi, Wheezy. I That's took a her great name. Wheezy, isn't it a great name? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it was a good date. How'd it go? Good. Good. I think we went to Burger King afterwards. <laughs> uh, I, first, I first knew of your work um, at a very young age yeah. because I was a huge fan of uh, ABC well, After School Specials. Yes. And uh, you were in one that really changed my life. Uh, I can only imagine. It was called Desperate Lives. Yeah. And... It was one of your most significant roles, <laughs> and it was about the dangers of angel dust. Yes. And, um, and uh, it's not serious business, folks. Let's take a look right here. <clears throat> Are you sure it's OK? Trust me. Just call it an experiment. Honey. You're fine. You hit the ground, you're fine. You must have your version of Desperate Lives back there somewhere. Isn't there some embarrassing credit? No, Not like that. None. <laughs> none. Uh, well, the, what I like about that women. is just how convincing that is. Like, you might, did you do an Angel Dust ride along? How did you. <laughs> you're very method. I just, you know, the script said she jumps out a window, so I went. Wow. Yeah. What I like about it is that you're blonde when you take the Angel Dust and it turns your hair brunette when you jump out the window. <laughs> It and it's blonde when it hits the ground again. It's probably a guy in a wig. I don't know. I don't remember. I was on Angel List. I don't remember. <laughs> well, you got a, the, you, you, you've got a, a, a new movie. It's out on Netflix. It's called Candy Jar. Yes. Again, it's about high school. Yes. You're, you're a counselor who... <laughs> who counsels? <laughs> Did you see I it? Must, Did you? I have not seen it yet. <laughs> yeah, I have whatever. not seen it yet. I'm nice. saving it for after I see the, next, the rest of the Star Wars movie. And... <laughs> So what, what, what is this about? It's a beautiful movie about two very smart high school juniors who are wanting to get into Ivy League schools and so stressed about it they can barely function, which is an epidemic, teen stress. As I've been applying to high schools for my daughter. It's a real thing. And so I play the voice of don't forget to enjoy your life. And even if you don't get into the place you want, your life might take a turn that you don't expect. Jim? When I started working here, that wall was empty. That bookcase was empty. And then kids like you left. And they got into their dream school, or they didn't. But all of them went on to do stuff, make stuff. And so they sent me stuff. And I'm not sure, but I think that's a life. That's a nice counselor. I wish I'd had a counselor like <laughs> Me that. Me too. Just like that. <laughs> you know, I was wondering, like, from that, that, from that counselor character, what would she say to a troubled student like this? <laughs> Everything's just going to work out? Yeah. Everything's just going to be fine? Yeah, it'll all be fine yeah. in the end. Well. <laughs> Good luck getting to the next Star Wars movie. And Thank please, you. mad about you. Please, mad about Thank you. Thank you so much. Because I'm mad about you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Helen. Thank, Thank you for being here. Candy Jar is out on Netflix. Helen on Denver.